Bibles. Mag, mag, 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 24 to 27. Okay. Sabi ni Paul, I want us to read this verse. 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 24 to 27. Don't you realize that in a race, everyone runs? But only one person gets the prize. So run to win. Wow, this is amazing. Eh? All athletes are disciplined in their training. Eh? They do it to win a prize that will fade away, but we do it for an eternal prize. So I run with purpose in every step. I'm not just shadow boxing or, in another translation, beating the air. I discipline my body like an athlete, training it to do what it should. Otherwise, I fear that after preaching to others, I myself will be disqualified. Such a powerful, amazing, you know, amazing word from, from Paul as he writes to the believers in Corinthians. No? Eh, in this particular verse, Paul uses yung, ano, yung, one of the most famous sports during that time is the sport of running, particularly marathon. Eh, takbuhan. Hindi lang basta takbuhan. No? May iba klaseng takbuhan eh. Well, no, meron niya tawag na sprint, one, yung mga 100 meter dash, 200 meter dash. No? Eh, but, but the grandest of all sport during that time is the, the, the highlight of the Olympics, Olympic Games is the marathon. In fact, there's even a Greek city no, that has been named for that. No, actually, uh, uh, the, 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 the name marathon was uh, in reference to... Uh, to that Greek city from which that sport was very, very popular at that time. The marathon, the city of Marathon. Okay? So, ginamit ni Paul na no, illustration. Hinalintulad niya ang buhay ng isang tao, buhay natin. No? Kaya nga sabi nila, di ba, ang buhay na ito ay minsan dinadab natin karera ng buhay. It is a race. Ito, ito ay isang takbo eh. No? Picture it. No, no, your life is like, yun nga, it's like a race. You're part of that race. You're part of that marathon. Now, no, Paul starts off with this. Sabi niya, in a race, everyone runs. Okay? Just like the marathon. No? Alam niyo yung marathon din. Yan yung ano, event na walang, uh, okay? walang limit sa ilan ang sasali. Okay? Basketball, kailangan yan. Talagang ano lang yan eh. In, uh, ano, per team, ilan na ilan limit? 12 ba? 12-12 lang. Pagkatapos, ang dapat nasa court, taglilima lang. Diba? Pag naglagay ka ng anim doon, disqualified ka. Ganon din sa, sa volleyball, sa soccer, no? Even yung sprint, no? Ang contestants doon, walo lang yan. Eh? Walo lang. Yung, yung 100 meter dash o yung mga relay. Eh? Yung swimming, no? Ay, no? Depende lang kung ilan, gano kalaki, ilang lanes ba yung ano, Olympic size swimming pool. Yun lang yung limit. Pero yung marathon, Yung mga fan runs, sino nakasali ng mga marathon, mga fan runs dito? Kahit ilan yan, di ba? Kahit ilan, no? Gusto mo mag-ready, Stel, sige! No, hindi na kaya naalam yung mga, ano eh, kung merong, merong, kaya mo ba? Hindi, sige, sali ka! <laughs> eh? So, ganun yung marathon. In a race, everyone runs. But here's the reality. Sometimes yun nga, in a marathon, in a fun run, thousands of people start, and you know what? Ang, ang saya niyan sa start, eh, di ba? Why? Because everyone's there. Mga friends mo. Takbo tayo. Church mates, work mates. It's so fun! But, have you ever considered this? Sabi ni Paul, only one actually still wins the prize. And then he says, run to win. In life, in life, life, life is like that. Everyone is alive. But sabi niya, hey, if you're going to live out this life, you might want to consider winning in this life. Don't just live life. Don't just eat, okay? drink, be merry, and die. Don't just live like everyone else na parang walang purpose, walang sense. No? Tumanda lang, nagkanak, nagkapo, yung iba hindi pa umabot doon. Okay? Kung tatapon yung buhay mo, ano, ganun lang. Okay? No, 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 no. If you're going to run, if you're going to live, live out this life to win. Are you there? Sabi nga ni, I heard one, one pass, oh, no, some, somebody once said, sabi nga, one life, soon it will pass. Only what's done for Jesus will last. 
Only one life. Eh, yan yung tamang understanding ng YOLO eh. You only live once. Ngayon kasi sinira yung ano eh. YOLO. Minsan lang ako mabubuhay. Kaya sige, drugs, babae, inom, lalaki, walwal. Yun na nga, isa lang yung buhay mo. Ba't mong sasayangin? Di ba? Isa lang yung puso mo. Ba't mo wawa sa akin? Di ba? Ba't mo itatapong ka ni kanino? No, 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 no. Pray. Seek the Lord. Right? One life lang, one life. Sabi ni Paul, yeah, no, in a marathon, everyone runs. But only one win, no, gets the prize. Run! If you're gonna run, run to win. Don't just, don't just be like a casual runner. Fun lang. Fun. <laughs> Sabi kasi, takbo daw eh. Takbo pa sa kalikasan. Takbo pa sa... No! You know, you know the real serious runners? How do you differentiate them? How do you know that they're not there just for the cause or contribute to the cause? You know those people who are there to win. You know what sets them apart? They have a whole lot of training behind them. You could tell they're ripped. Okay. Right? Right? Tama ba? He said, Paul, run to win! And then, he, he shifts. Sabi niya, ganda ang sinabi niya dito. Put up the verse. Put up the verse. Not, eh? All, uh, no, sabi dito, all athletes are disciplined in their training. You know what sets up, you know, real athletes are disciplined. You know, in UP, okay, where, where we usually have our, our prayer meetings, you know, every day I see people running and running. Okay? And a lot of people are there in a casual jog, occasional runners. But then you know that there are people who are committed. That they really run not just to have fun or just not, not just to only burn calories. They're running to win. They're serious. So I mean, and you can see the discipline. Why? No, I would go to a prayer meeting. In prayer meeting, it's not at 5 a.m. That means I have to wake up at 4.30. Okay? Sometimes even earlier, no? Hindi na ako magtutlash po, 45, medyo ka. <laughs> but, but, but when, eh, oy, kumitid ako sa pagtutlash, ha? di ba pinag-usapan natin last week. Anyway, did I mention that here in that service? Okay, so, baka doon kasi sa 1pm services. So anyway, so, run, sabi, ni, sabi dito ni Paul, no? run to win, athletes are disciplined in their training. Eh, okay? nakita ko nga yung mga sa UP, no? may talaga talagang, you know that they're disciplined, I, I thought I was committed, but then, bago pa ako dumating, sometimes I would see a whole group nag-chat-chat pa yan. No, hindi ko alam kung mga vanguard, mga military ba to, mga nag rotc Kami ang aga-aga, and they were like in a group chanting. Yeah. Eh? And I realized, these guys are committed. And then sabi ni Paul, they do it to win a prize, that will fade away. But we do it for an eternal prize. So I run with purpose in every step. I'm not a shadow boxing. I discipline my body like an athlete, training it to do what it should. Otherwise, after I've preached to others, I myself will be disqualified. Okay, I wrote, wrote as, as I was meditating on this, I wrote a couple of things. No? Sabi ko dito, do you hear what Paul is trying to say here? Are you even listening? Are, are you, no? Sabi niya, hey! Have you ever considered the kind of commitment that these runners and athletes have? For what? Have you ever considered the kind of commitment that ever they have? Commitment to what? Commitment to train. That's why I want to encourage you. I want to challenge you. you know, if we're going to win, if we're going to see those goals in 2020, okay, I want to challenge people to a certain level of commitment. A commitment to train. Okay? Because this is what Paul is saying. I mean, have you? Don't you see what these guys are into? How committed they are? For what? For what? Sabi ni Paul, a price that will what? Okay? That will last them a couple of days of fame and glory. No, a couple of, no, sabi, a, a, a price that is what? Fading away. Literally, alam niyo, panahon na yun, they don't even give gold medals to the champions. You know what they give? 
You know what is the price when you become a champion? A wreath. Okay? No? Corona ng dahon. Nakita niyo mga ano nun, may mga corona ng dahon. Okay? Corona ng dahon, particularly, actually, specifically, laurel. Yung laurel ngayon, inaadobo na lang yan. Hindi na kayo ng corona. Al- no? <laughs> laurel leaves, di ba? And they're like, yeah, they're gonna do all training, the commitment, the effort, the energy. To what? For a crown of leaves that in a couple of days, malalanta. And I said, Paul, how much more should you and I be? If people in this world are so committed to a job, for what? Money? Don't you think that our commitment, that your commitment as a believer, is all the more okay, bigger. Why? Because first of all, you need to understand the stakes, the price is, you know, they're doing it for this. And we're doing it for that! Ang layo, sila grabe, ang nakakalungkot, no? Kung baga parang, kung baga parang ganito, no? Piso, one million. Tapos ito mga tao ito, sobrang committed. Makakuha ah, ng piso. Tapos ikaw, ito yung premium mo, 1 million. Relax, relax ka lang. Sunday service lang. Not for a minute, I was forsaken. The Lord is in this place. Tapos ito, ganun lang. Sabi ni Paul, guys, if people in the world would give in so much for things that are temporary, how much more should you and I be for a price that is of eternal value? Amen? Are you there? Are you getting this? Eh? Sabi ko, we do it for uh, an eternal price. He's saying, don't you think that this price is all the more worthy of our utmost commitment? Our stakes are definitely much more higher, more glorious, and more importantly, eternal. And so he says, run to win, commit, train. Honestly, I cannot imagine a world apart from commitment. Can you imagine? There is no such thing as commitment. Have you ever considered that? This world will be chaotic. Eh? Think about it. No? If there is no such thing as commitment, I think we will never be able to achieve or accomplish anything worthwhile. Love. Check this out. I wrote this down. Just some insights. Love, apart from commitment, would be meaningless. No, it would be a joke. Come on, Pagmamahal. I love you. <laughs> it doesn't mean anything kung walang commitment. Ano yung I love? Yung nga ay laro, kalokohan, insulto. Ang problema ay, no? yan yung trend ngayon eh. People have lost no? the idea of what real love is. They, they have totally taken out no? commitment from Love. And that's why love today you know, has just become a joke. So easy to say, I love you. Eh? People hop from one relationship to another. No? Nagpauso tayo ng mga bagong terms like friends with benefits. Ano ibig sabihin? No? Yun nga, friends tayo pero walang commitment. No? I, you know, friends with benefits. Benefits of what? Benefits of a married person. In other words, nagtatalik, nagsesex. Pero okay lang. Hindi tayo committed. Eh, it's going to be chaotic. No? Love apart from commitment would be meaningless. Relationships without commitment would never achieve any depth which is contrary to the heart of every human being. Why? Isn't it true that in a relationship, even if it's just mere friends, naghahanap ka ng lalim? Don't you hate it, mga, ta- mga kaibigan mo mababaw? <laughs> we don't want to be shallow. We, 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 
what's this? We scorn the idea of shallowness. Inside us, gusto natin malalim. Di ba? Yung, kaya nga ang term natin, di ba? Hugot. Humuhugot ka, di ba? Lalim ng hugot. Pangit yung hugot ng mababaw eh. Di ba? Pero pag walang commitment, eh, lahat ng hugot mo ang babaw. May kaibigan naman mga hugot niya, mababaw lang. Why? It's devoid of commitment. It's devoid of commitment. Okay? Families would, I wrote here, families would fall apart. Society will break down. Okay, imagine this. No, if there's no commitment at work, one day you have a job, the next day you quit. Can you imagine your boss no, would like go crazy? You were just hired. And then the following day you decide, ayoko na. <laughs> right? Tama ba? Like, it's just crazy. It's just, apart from commitment, no, eh? There will be a spirit of distrust. Ni mo tuloy mapagkatiwa. Kung walang commitment, nabiyas ko, to commit. No? When, you're, when you're being committed, no? when something is committed to you, pag ginami mo siya, I'm committing to you this thing. Ibig sabihin, pinagkakatiwala sa'yo. That's why when you commit your heart to somebody, you're actually trusting that person. The great commission Okay? In other words, the great commission of Jesus Christ is that He is entrusted to us the gospel. He committed this to us. He, no, eto, run with this. Tell the world about this good news. He committed it to us. He trusted us. Eh? Kung walang commitment, then there's going to be a spirit of distrust. Hindi, no, what? In, okay. Pag walang commitment, wala kang makasahan. Can you imagine, no? Kung walang, walang idea of commitment. If companies have no commitment, organizations, business have no commitment, magagrab ka. Okay? Tinanggap ng grab. Maya, maya, wala pang five minutes. Kung kailan naman, ini-expect mo na, cancel. Ah! <laughs> yung mababaliw ka sa lahat ng grab na, ang gabi, cancel mo, kinancel, kuya! <laughs> no, you will never get to your no, to your appointments on time. Can you imagine if planes don't have a commitment to bring you to your destination? It's crazy! That's, I realized, wow, that's how powerful commitment is. This world will, will literally will be chaotic, magulo, pag walang commitment, yung hindi ka, ma, wala ka mapagkatiwalaan. Di ba, bakit mo pinapatunayas ang isang kumpanya? Kasi you trust, but you trust na masarap yung pagkain, you trust na no yung deli- yung i-deliver niya nasa oras. Eh? I was thinking, no, sabi ko, yung church, yung simbahan is most likely the most persecuted, the most assaulted movement in all history. It has suffered setbacks within and without, but despite that, it has remained to be a vibrant and very much alive even after 2,000 years. Why? Because it rested on the backs of committed people. Commitment is amazing. Commitment is amazing. The foundation of marriage, the foundation of family, rests on commitment. Diba? Hindi, hindi nakasalalay sa ano eh, sa feeling lang eh. Hindi nakasalalay sa, no? Hindi tayo katulad ng ibang hayop na yung kanilang yung kanilang rep, no, reproduction nakasalalay lang sa sexual drive. Eh. Okay? You, we are amazingly no distinct from all other creation in the world. No other creature. That's why you cannot tell me that there's no such thing as God. Why are we so much apart, set apart from all other creatures? Well, you know, we have this capacity, we have this term love. A dog, okay, probably knows loyalty in terms of instinct, but he will not know love. May nakita ba kayong aso? Isa lang asawa niya. <laughs> At may nakita ba kayong aso nagselos dahil <laughs> pumunta doon sa kami? Hindi! Pero yung, bakit tayo, eh, bakit ba't ka nagselos? 
Because you're expecting commitment. Commitments are meant to be exclusive. Hello? Grabe. Introduction pa rin ako. <laughs> ang ganda kasi nito eh. Ay, ang ganda. Ang tindi lang ko. Ang... Our church, 21 years. I cannot imagine this church growing to be where it is right now apart from the commitment of people. I, I, I thank God for the grace that He gives for people who are committed. I thank you. You're one of those people who gives, volunteers. It's amazing. Okay? No, we don't, you know, those people who set up all these things, they're not, we never pay people. We never even give them, a, like, not even an allowance. Like, those are, these are people who work, professionals, and yet, Every Sunday, they would come, set all those things up, bring them down. No, yung mga ushers, hindi binabayaran ng ngiti niya. Hindi niyo matatawaran ng mga ngiti niya. Okay? Yung mga shield, yung mga security, yung mga... Kahit yung nag-enjoy, kasi hindi kami mga anak. No? Na dinadala niyo dito. Sarap ng buhay niyo siya, no? <laughs> Kaupo ko tayo, wow, nakakabless, no? Yung mga teacher sa Sundays ko nababaliw. Parang itong mga batang ito, ang kukulit. <laughs> Praise God, di ba? Praise God for commitment. Ako, hindi ko kaya mag-preach. Kung nga, paikot-ikot yung mga bata dito. Diyos ko, Lord. <laughs> Praise God, may mga committed na workers. Walang pa nga yung mga taong committed. No, it's amazing what commitment does. Okay? Jesus' ministry was marked by commitment. He called people to commit and was never afraid to challenge people to commitment. Let's read this verse once again. Luke chapter 9, verse 57 to 62. And let me just, let me try to close. I'll try, I'll try. I'm not making a commitment. <laughs> But I'll, I'll try, I'll try. Somebody come up here. Let's just try to be committed to the time. Luke chapter 9, verses 57 to 62. Okay. If you have your Bibles, go ahead. It, it would still be nice turning your own Bibles, no? flipping your pages. But, but we also have it up here in the PowerPoint. Sabi dito ni Jesus, no? As they were walking along, someone said to Jesus, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus said, Foxes have dens to live in. Birds have nests. Son of man has no place to lay his head on. He said to another person, come follow me. The man agreed, but he said, Lord first, me, Lord, first let me return home and bury my father. But Jesus told him, let the spiritually dead bury their own dead. Your duty is to go and, pre and preach about the kingdom of God. Another said, yes, Lord, I will follow you, but let me first say goodbye to my, to my family. But Jesus told him, anyone who puts his hand on a plow and looks back is not fit for the kingdom of God. God, I, I, you have to yeah, with this verse it's, you cannot help but pause and think what it means to really be a Christian Jesus was not into getting as many likes as possible He wants to know if people are committed. No, somebody, one day Jesus was walking and somebody said, Lord, I want to follow you. And he said, good job. No, no, that's not what he said. He didn't say, good for you. This is going to be amazing. Wait and see. No, no, he says, hey. Just so that you know, Foxes have holes. Birds in the air have nests. 
son of man has nowhere to lay his head on. What is he saying? It's almost as if he's trying to even discourage. No, he's not trying to discourage. He just wants to let that person know what this is all about. That Christianity is not an easy life. That marriage is not an easy life. Eh? It's not really, it's not happily ever after. It's really more of for richer or for poorer in sickness and in health. Eh? Tama ba? The goal of mar- no, you know, the goal of marriage is not just to make you happy. I mean, eh? Sabi nga, yesterday I was with with Ruther or Kia yung uh, villain villain to villain to quest. Uh, and and. <laughs> We had a great time. He was talking about marriage to some our young people. Natin. And, and sabi niya, no, minsan, nagpapakasal ka, pumapasok ka sa isang relationship dahil ang goal mo is maghahanap ka ng magpapasaya sa'yo. In other words, nakadepende yung pagsaya mo sa isang tao. Ang problema niyan, pag nakadepende yung pagsaya mo sa isang tao, okay, paano yon pag hindi niya na ma-fulfill? Okay. Kaya marami naghihiwalay kasi hindi na sila masaya. Kaya ang gulong marriage, hindi ka lang para sumaya. Eh. Hindi natin masasabi, hindi natin masasabi ng ano, okay. hindi masaya na may kasama sa buhay, pero hindi yun ang goal. Kaya nga, sa vow natin, di ba? In sickness and in health, mayroon bang masayang may sakit? Pag may sakit yung asawa, <laughs> saya natin. <laughs> hindi, hindi. Pero committed ka kahit may pinagdadaanan kayong sakit or kahit na masakit. Are you there? Hey, do, yung mga mag-aasawa, yung mga naghahanap pa lang ng boyfriend o girlfriend, consider this. Hello? It's a, love is not about a feeling of romance. It is a commitment. It is a commitment in sickness and in health. Okay. For richer or for... Wala kang pera? <laughs> Wala tayong pera. Hindi. Wala tayong pera. Pero committed ako sa'yo. Hello? Are you there? Jesus was never afraid to challenge people, to let people know what this is all about. Want to be my disciple? Want to follow me? Hey. You have to carry your cross daily. You have to deny yourself. Ano sabi dyan ni Jesus, no? May isa sabi, Lord, sunod ako sa'yo. But first, let me bury my dad. Jesus said, let the dead bury their own dead. It sounded rude of Jesus, but no, no, no. He, he knew what this is about. He knew the motive, the heart of this young man. This man was just making excuses. It wasn't really about burying his father. It's about making an excuse. Jesus said, hey, you want to follow me? Follow me now. In another similar way, somebody said, Sabi Jesus, follow me. Sabi niya, Lord, let me first say goodbye. Sabi no, anyone who puts his hand on the plow and keeps on looking back is not fit. In other words, yun nga eh, pag meron kang sinimula isang bagay at hindi ka committed doon, lingon ka na lingon, lingon ka na lingon, wala kang mararating. Hindi ka fit sa karihan ng Diyos. Eh, na-realize ko? Eh, ang susi sa pintuan na langit, commitment. No, God wants, no. It is commitment. Are you there? If we're gonna live Christianity, we need to be people who are committed. First of all, we need to be people committed to Christ. But how does one commit? No, last week, we talked about, I, I, I initially shared to you yung, yung five, uh, ano, I gave you a rundown of from A.W. Tozer's, ano, 
uh, article about total commitment. He talks about ano yun yung tinalakay natin, intellectual. Intellectual attachment. No? For people to really commit, na-realize ko, you cannot really commit to something that you do not know. Ulitin ko, ha? Intellectual. It has to be no, it has to be well thought about. Jesus, you will see that the way Jesus brought people to commitment, no, he didn't, no, he didn't try to hide stuff from people. He brought things out in the open. He wanted to know that it was an intellectual decision. Hindi lang puro imo. Hindi lang parang spur of the moment high. Okay? Kaya, hey, reality is, no, walang love at first sight. Pwede kang magka-crash at first sight. I'm not taking that away from you. Those initial sparks, right? That that initial eureka. I had that with my wife. I could still remember the first day I saw her. Okay? Sa UP Los Baños noon. No? First year college kami. Okay? Tapos sa isang gathering, Bible study, nakita ko mayroong cute na naka-shorts. Ang cute nito. Pero it took me what? Seven more years before I decided na ligawan ko siya. No, no, no. I'm committed to the Lord. I like her. I had a crush on her. But I'm committed to Jesus. Are you there? But I, 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 you know, I had that initial attraction. Okay? Attraction can be done in the first sight. Are you there? But commitment? You know I was able to commit to her? Because for seven years, we've really been good friends. Nakilala ko siya ng gusto. Tama ba? Tama. Now, hindi ko kinakahon ng lahat ng relationship ko nun. Pwede kasi magsimula na nagustuhan mo, tapos, no, naging kayo, tapos, eventually, nakilala mo, the more nakilala mo siya, masaya mo nagustuhan. Pwede yun, pwede yun. Hindi, hindi naman natin kinakahon ng ano, mga love story. Okay? Baka, baka ipattern nyo lahat, ah, dapat pala, kilalanin ko muna mo. Mainam yun. Less risk. No? May kasabihan yung, may, may totoo sa kantang fools rush in. Wise men say, only fools rush in. Pero sabi nga nung kanta, I can help falling in love with you. Nabubo pa rin eh. <laughs> that song is so weird. <laughs> he talks about what wise men say, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> I love that song. <laughs> anyway, but then you guys, you can never really make a commitment to something or someone that you do not know. That's why God, no, came to us as human being to show His love, to manifest Himself in His Son, and, and to show what it means. It has to be intellectual. Okay? We talked about last week. Okay? Number two, volitional. I mean volitional. Sabi nyo nga volitional. A.W. Tozer talks about volitional, volitional attachment in in. No, in order for somebody to commit, ano yung volitional? Okay? Volition, pag sinabi natin volition, this may be a strong or a big word for some, pero i-define ko para sa inyo. The faculty or power of using one's will okay, as an act of making a choice or decision. In other words, have you heard that term? It takes the will. Willpower. Okay? Yung, ano, ano ba yung will sa Tagalog? Parang yun, parang determinasyon eh. Dapat determinado ka. Okay? Maraming kasing mga, yun nga, maraming so-called na mga pagpapahayag ng pag-ibig, hindi eh, naman talaga determined. Hey, for marriages, to last a lifetime, you need to understand, it takes the will. Are you there? There will be times the feelings will not be, be there. Hello, but it takes the will for a lasting relationship. Okay, I'm saying this all these things in a context. Because in your Sakenai, not in your Valentine season. No, no, no. I want people. To, you know, we here at Destiny, we want families, no, to 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 follow the Lord. We want marriages that will last people a lifetime. We want the idea of commitment. Okay. Sabi ni Tozer, if I'm going to follow Christ in complete and total commitment, I must do it with a continuous act of my will. Sabi niyo, a continuous act. 
Nagsituloy-tuloy every day. Every day I have to make a decision to love my wife. Every, that's an everyday decision. Every day. Sabi niyo, every day. Okay? There are times I may not feel like it, but I have to what? I have to continuous, continuously act. Are you there? It takes the will. Sabi, it takes the will. It takes the will. No? Sabi dito ni, ni, ni Tozer, he talks about that all throughout the Bible, you would, you would see people who are determined, Daniel determined that he would not eat of the king's meat. And, no? and it was said of Jesus that he set his face like flint. Okay? He set like, no? how, many, how many of you understand, like going to the cross, when Jesus was about to go to the cross, that wasn't easy. He was tempted. In fact, at one point, he prayed to the Lord, Lord, if it's possible, let this cup pass from me. What he's saying, a part of him, his human side, no? his human side was battling with this, that if possible, wag na lang. I mean, what kind of person is willing to go through that, all that pain and suffering? Dying the most, what? The most literally, the worst torture ever known to mankind. Why would the God of the universe go through that? Jesus, sabi niya, not my will, but yours be done. Yun nga eh. He made a determination to surrender his will to God. Sabi dun sa Bible, he set like, he set his face like flint. No, one of our geologists, uh, uh, Dan Cercado, eh, told me, Kuya, you know what flint is? Flint is the strongest of all rocks. In terms of quality, yung flint, like, yan yung ginagawa in, nung, mga, nung wala pang no, hindi pa pumapasok yung Bronze Age. Stone Age pa lang. Okay? Kaya yung, di ba, yung flint stones. Okay? Yung flint, yan yung ginagawa. Hindi lahat ng bato pwedeng gawing ano eh. Kunyari yung kutsilyo, yung spear. Yung flint kasi talaga yung pinakamatikas. Hindi pa discover ang iron noon. Hindi pa, wala pang na, na, natutunaw na mga ano noon. So yun yung flint, yung raw bato. Hinahanap nila yun. Tigas noon. Sabi niya, I set my face like flint. Mahal kita. Hindi mong babago yan. Mahirap man. Hindi mo kita maintindihan minsan. Nababaliw man ako minsan. Mahal kita. Yun yung, yun yun eh. Problema ngayon, maraming tao. Wala na yung idea, no? Walang volition. It's volitional. Okay. Number three. Commitment is exclusive. Let me read a portion of what A.W. Tozer said. Sabi niya, now I go on to an exclusive, to exclusive attachment. Our attachment or our commitment to the person of Christ must exclude all that is contrary to Christ. These are days when we are trying to be 100% positive. I mean, 100% positive. Okay? You know, we have so watered down the idea of love that, I mean, the gay movement uses this, love wins. No? And, and love wins. What, what, what does that mean? Accept all. There's, there's a big difference between tolerance and acceptance. What the world is right now promoting is tolerance. Kahit mali. Okay. Minsan, the same people na galit na galit sa, kunyari pa, or para, kunyari, intolerant, as law, intolerant sila eh in terms of those that are not accepting or tolerant of them. Okay. Okay, kung, kung ganun, love wins. Di, mahalin natin lahat. Mahal natin, no. Tataka ko, for example, one, one group opposed this, pero pag, pag sila yung ano, yung issue, okay. pero pag iba, kunyari, 
adik. Kung ba't mo ba siya pinipigilan? Gusto niya maging mag-adik eh. Love wins. Kung si Duterte, gusto niya patayin yung adik. Yung love wins. Can you imagine kung ga- ganun ang standard natin? Love wins. Gusto niyang patayin yung adik. Ala, love wins. Gusto niyang magwalwal. Love wins. But that's not love. Sabi-sabi-sabi sa Bible, love does not rejoice in what is wrong. Clearly, there are things in this world that is not right. There are things in this world that is wrong. Real love. If I love my son, I would not just allow him to do stuff that na ika, alam ko ikakapahamak niya. Bakit mo sinasabi sa, sa anak mo, huwag kang tatawid. Okay? Huwag kang maglaro sa kalsada. Sasabihin niyo, ayaw mo siya. Love wins. <laughs> you see how this logic is so wrong? We, in fact, just a couple of weeks ago, no, somebody attended church in our, our, our church in the north, and no, no, they post on Facebook that they hated. Uh, that, sabi, this church was so full of hate. Bakit? Kasi pinapatakoy lang kasalanan. Sabi niya, gagawa ako ng simbahan na hindi pag-usapan ng kasalanan. Love wins. Is that love? Is that what this world has come to? You know what is love? Love is exclusive. Love, you know, when a person commits himself in marriage, it is an exclusive commitment. What he's saying is, I am saying no to 6 point, ilan na bang yun? 6.5 billion, 6.6 billion. Okay. I'm saying no to 6.6 billion people in the world. When I said, I, I said to my wife, I'm marrying you, I love you, I say yes to you. I'm saying no to 6 point, o sabihin na natin kalahati itong babae, I'm saying no to 3 billion women. I'm saying yes to you. Exclusive. time for inclusive but I'll jump to just so I could finish this I'll jump to the last one irrevocable irrevocable what does irrevocable you probably have heard the term irrevocable when it comes to resignation <laughs> yeah it's like you pass on a resignation when it's irrevocable resignation in other words no whether you agree or not, you, know, you have no say in this, it's irrevocable. Hindi ko na mababawi yan. Hindi ko na babawiin yan. Commitments are to be irrevocable. Following Jesus is irrevocable. Committing to marriage is irrevocable. That's what love is. That's what commitment is. I want to tell you something. In the Bible, one of the most amazing things that I saw was the whole story of the Bible, the whole story of God and humanity. Yung beginning sa ending nagsimula at nagtapos, amazingly, sa kasal. One of the very first acts of God in all creation, amazingly, was marriage. Okay? The wedding of Adam and Eve. Really, the first act of God in relation to humanity was the marriage of Adam and Eve. Sabi do sa Genesis chapter 2, for this reason, 
A man shall leave his father and mother and would cleave, be united, be one to his wife. And they shall be one flesh, naked and unashamed. Okay? God ordained marriage. Okay? That they are to be one flesh, one. Okay? Unashamed. Okay? Now, all the way to the book of Revelations, we see another marriage, a more grander one. This time it's the marriage of Jesus Christ to the bride, His church. And then there's this miracle of Jesus. The first ever miracle of all things that Jesus would have done, ah, isang milagro, unang milagro niya, sa lahat naman ng milagrong gagawin niya sa isang kasalan. You put that into play, this is amazing. Why did, you no? Know, one of the greatest institutions Despite our fallenness, despite our broken world, is married. Di ba pag nakita? Bakit? Bakit nakakatat sang kasal? Kahit nga ilang beses nang alam mo naman yung di ba? Ilang beses na uwi sa di mo sa paghiwalay. Pero rin sila celebrate pa rin natin. Di ba? Di ba touch na touch tayo kasi? I think ito yung isa sa mga pinakamalapet na idea ng pag-ibig ng Diyos sa atin. Na every time may nangyayari kas- kasalan, no, in-institute na, in order, hindi tao yung nagsimula ng kasal, eh, Diyos eh. He was giving us a picture. Every time you see a wedding, I want you to see weddings like this from now on. It is a picture of God's love. His commitment to mankind. That no matter where you are, that no matter how far you've gone, God loves you. That His commitment is irrevocable. Are you there? How I wish that I could say that in the last 30 years of my Christian life, I've always been faithful to God. No, so many times I've been so unfaithful. So many times I have, you know, I, I have failed God, but I have seen His commitment, His grace is irrevocable. So many times have he, I, I tried to run away from God to backslide, pero no, at the end, God was still there. I want you to know this. We have a committed God who's committed to you, to loving you, to extending His grace to you, to saving you. I believe that He is deserving of your commitment, of my commitment as well. Let's pray. Let's all stand. I want you to just come before God personally right now. Just kalimutan mo muna yung katabi mo. Just be, be with God at this moment. He is here. And He's committed to you. He's committed to His purposes in your life. He has shown the greatest of commitment by sending His own Son to die for you on the cross. Jesus said in John chapter 15, there is no greater love than this, than for a man to lay down his life for his friend. There's no such love as the love of God to the point that he even laid down his own life. There's no greater commitment, greater sacrifice than for a man and for a God, most of all, to lay down his life for mere mortals like you and me. God is so committed to you. And I think that commitment of God to us is why 
why we can we can make a commitment to him as well because he is worthy worthy of all our commitment if you're making a commitment or affirm that commitment to follow Jesus I'd like to pray for you just, just lift up your hands just lift up your hands Lord Lord we we thank you God for you are committed to us you have shown your commitment and your love for us by sending your own son to die on the cross for us Lord indeed there is no greater love than that that for the God of the universe to lay down his life for mere mortals for sinful people like like us God but Lord you you showed us God what it means to be committed and Lord by your grace Lord I I ask right now Lord God that you grant us strength Lord to fully commit our lives to you to following you God in the name of Jesus Lord that, that Lord you're going to build commitment Lord in our lives with our family with our wives with our husbands with our children Lord with our church Lord God Lord, that we will be a people marked by such a commitment and devotion, Lord, to seeing lives change, to seeing people get to know you, Lord. Father, we thank you, Lord God. We thank you. We make this commitment this morning. We reaffirm one another's commitment, Lord God, to follow you all the way. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's give Lord a clap. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on. Praise God.